Okay guys, we're back up on the hill here. Uh, one thing that we have a lot of in Northeast Kansas is trees. Uh, as organic farmers, we try and leave boundaries, buffers, and trees on the edge of our fields. When you have trees on the edge of your fields, it's necessary that you have a tool like this. Uh, this is a Landall v sweep subsoiler. And what we're doing today on this hill is we're going all around the edges where we have compaction and loosening the soil. And we're also going right here next to the forest and we're going to cut tree roots that are attempting to encroach out into our field. So here we go. Every now and again you will hear it pop or you will hear it jump and we're hitting a tree root. There's not too many rocks on this hill thankfully so we're not going to hit rocks. But uh, we are going to go close to the field edge here and we are going to loosen it up and pop some tree roots. And there we had a big tree root. Okay, the root didn't stick on the ripper there, but sometimes you have to stop your ripper and you have to get out and pull off the root because the root will actually make the ripper pull so sideways that you won't be able to go. I'm going to hit this spot again. I'm going to go in a slightly different pattern here and I'm going to go even deeper this time. When you have the ripper this deep into the ground, it is very hard to turn. So if you have to turn or you come to a corner or an irregularity, uh, you have to turn and straighten your tractor out or do something different. You obviously cannot turn when you have all five of those shanks into the ground. What you can do is you can lift it just a hair like that. I just made a real graceful turn. And now I'm sinking it back in. this hill, since we haven't had row crop here also for about five years, I will rip even the open areas of the field. Uh, I will rip the ends, I mean. Uh, there will be some compaction there through the years, etc., etc. I will not rip this whole field. Uh, my good friend from Mississippi, where they rip a lot, uh, told the story. Uh, when I first bought the ripper, I asked him about it because I knew they used them down there. And uh, he said, Jack, if you have a wet spring and you come along with the tractor, uh, water will come up through the rips and you will have a wet hole. You'll create a swamp. And he said, you'll sink the depth of the tractor. So about 10 years ago, when I first bought the ripper, I ripped a whole one of my bottom fields, of, uh, ripped the whole field, and I came back out to field cultivate a month or so later, and I was driving along, getting along real good field cultivating, and then all of a sudden, wham, I sank through the liquid mud, and I buried the tractor. Uh, it was literally, the axles were completely covered. It's how deep that tractor sank, and I had a heck of a time getting it out. 
So since that point in time, I only uh, rip the field edges and where I need to cut roots and uh, where I have a compaction issue. Thanks, guys.